Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my actual playthrough series. I am um, here on Little Colorado. I finished all the missions here, and um, I'm going to uh, kind of play through just the exploration free realm of this map. That's how we're going to start our series. Then we'll move on to the two other regions that we haven't touched yet. Uh, and that's how the series is going to start. So uh, tonight we have four trucks now. This is kind of what I'm doing. I have the special edition, so it gave me all the special edition trucks. But instead of using them, I'm just going to hold on to them for now. So I've got the Step. I've got the Kotko. And I only have a little bit of money. I think right now we're at about $11,000 because I've done upgrades to both of these trucks. And then I'll show you the other two trucks that we have. I've got my the Acton set up like so. And I've got the Don set up like so. All the money that I used was money that I earned um, from doing the missions. I do not. I did not use any money uh, on these trucks from selling other trucks. So uh, I have the SE editions, like I said, sitting in the garage. But I wanted to make sure everybody understands. Starting out, we're going to actually play it the way that everybody with the regular edition has, so that they can kind of feel that way. So everything you see here is. Just box standard. I am not using any of the SE stuff. Except the only thing I am using that is a little bit from the Super or Supreme Edition is the Kotko because it's just such a great truck. I love that thing. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start exploring the map. I'm gonna grab the Don, the Donger, and let's see here. To get into the Don, I have to see. Here's the thing I don't like because I'm in the trading zone. I can't change trucks. I have to actually leave. Oh, my wonderful wife brought me a coffee because she's the best. I love you. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> hey, Mr. Hey, Mr. Krabs. Uh, we're going to use these trucks and explore the map and see what we can find. Make sure you turn the light off, babe. There are three missions that we're going to work on. We have gold mining, ancient remains, and altar. Uh, and we're going to see about what those are and um, have some fun doing that. So first of all, let me get into the Don. And I'm going to scout out this area. So um, let's go ahead to beautiful view and we'll start this. Start tracking that. And we're going to do this beautiful view mission. So we need to get to observation decks here. Okay, that's cool. Awesome. Long hauler. Have a safe trip. Oh, coffee. So good. Uh, so good. Oh, and my phone is going to ring. Hang on one second. Okay, so we're going to work our way up into the hills. I see up there there's a beautiful viewpoint right there, so we're going to work our way over to that using this very capable Don. It's got I've got the um, upgrade to the first suspension, and then I got good, some good wheels. Um, so I think the good thing is, uh, by the way, thank you for the sub, Louis. Uh, I appreciate that. Um, the Don is actually really good. Hello, baby. Uh, because it does not have a high fuel consumption. It, it is pretty economical and lightweight, so it gets over the terrain, too. So I'm actually really happy with this uh, truck. Yeah, that's what we're going to have to do. Because um, we're going to see if we... I'm going to see from our realtor if we can discuss, like, vacating 30 days. Or, like, just seven days after we get paid. Because at least that way we can get a truck, get, you know, figured out where we're going... Or maybe buy like a motorhome trailer or something like that and live in that for till we can find a place to live. But at least get out of here without like falling down the stairs. You know what I mean? So we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's a whole other discussion. Uh, come on, baby. I'm going to put the tires lower pressure. Right. Or at least you can, you know, work those out with people usually. Uh, now, I found something cool. There is a there is a water or hydrologist that you can hire that actually makes it so your car takes zero damage when you go into the water. Uh, we need to get over there. That's why I'm going this way. I think we might need to. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we can step up there. We just have to get over there. So nah, I probably should have just gone around, honestly. But this this looked more fun. I'm going to go real slow. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. 
I, we have to move out on the closing date, right? That's that's the problem because we don't have any money to even get a U-Haul to move out on the closing date. We'd have to move out after the closing date. So, so we are hopefully we hopefully we can work out something with them where we're like, hey, we need seven days. Like we'll pay you an extra. I don't know. We'll pay the month's mortgage for you. Like to, if you let us stay for seven days. So that we can get the truck, we can get the U-Haul, we can move, take a couple trips back and forth and get things moved. Or at least to a storage facility till we get a place, you know what I mean? <sighs> Pressure! Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
SnowRunner is so good. It really is. Though I tell you what, I am really enjoying this game. Like I said, there's things about it I don't like. And it is not SnowRunner in any way, shape, or form. But it definitely follows the MudRunner enjoyment. The things that I liked about Spin Tires and MudRunner are better even here. So... Yeah, like when you aim down your scope, it goes to first person. We're talking about Hell Divers too, by the way. If you guys that are on YouTube are wondering what the heck we're talking about, okay, I, this it looks like you can get down here, but I, uh, this is not going to work. <laughs> come on, baby. Oh, come on, get up there, get up there. All right, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to go, what I want to do is go over this way. I know, it's a, it's fun. Helldivers is fun. Maybe after we play this for a little bit. Oh my gosh, it's already 11 o'clock. <laughs> or 10 o'clock. Maybe we can play it a little bit tonight too. I'm, we're probably going to be up late. The Hermione went into labor tonight, so she's going to have her puppies tonight. <laughs> Anybody want Dalmatians? Uh, probably not, huh? Nobody ever wants any dogs. Um, all right, so let's see. We're going to begin the descent. Oh, Lordy. But this is, look at the, see how the suspension reaches down, and that's not even a, uh, oh, this is not even a, like, that type of suspension. This is just a standard rock, or a standard climbing suspension. No, no, no. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, no, 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 oh, no, oh, no, 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 Ouch. Okay, well, we're going to have to rescue this truck. That was fun. We're halfway done. Let's grab the actin. Get some tough actin to actin. And we're going to load this guy up with some fuel. And we'll load him up with service spare parts. This is the free way to do it. So we'll have he'll take some stuff with him. And we will use that to fix our car. <laughs> no, I don't believe in those things. Ah. I don't even want to know what's going on with my car. I mean, I, I do, but I can't really do anything about it until like a month or so from now anyway. Oh, my God. That car is an, it's a lot higher up than I thought it was. And, yes, we are we are in Little Colorado. I'm going to and I'm going to do the explore on this map and see there's a bunch of missions we need to finish. And then we're also going to explore the map, make sure we get all the parts and stuff off the map before we move on. And I'll probably go, because we've done a lot of desert stuff, I'll probably just for a different look, we'll go to Carpathia to start. So. Yeah, I try not to use the self-help items. I just don't need a jack screw. I just need a truck that'll go rescue the other truck. So. But yeah, I didn't bring anything. <laughs> no auto winch. No jack screw. No fancy toupee. I don't need a toupee. I'm Actually, I'm ready for a haircut again. My hair, my hair is getting pretty long. Not long, but like fuzzy. I look a mess. <laughs> oh, man, he's up there. I thought we were down at the base. Yeah. I'm going to have to really take this truck up and then get him. We'll get up there, though. Yeah, it's a good feature, all right. I don't know if it's the my fate. No, I like the whole thing. But yeah, the defat defatable. deflatable tires make the rock crawling possible. So I agree with you, Jaywa. Um, I wish they still had a little more grip um, because I feel like when I go rock crawling, my tires, I mean, like they're so sticky that they actually left marks on my dining room table when I put them on there because um, they just are super stick. So crap, I don't think I went. Oh, we can get over here. OK, good. And then we'll have to slowly work our way up. I'm trying to see if there's a, a ridge. Somehow we're going to have to figure out how to get up there. Maybe over to the right here. Um, yeah, they were st so the tires stick a little better than you know than they do in this game. So you can't get across there. We have to go up that. Let's try that. Uh, 
Does the Revo, um, is that a brushed or brushless setup? I kind of, as a, I've gotten into RC trucks, I kind of prefer the brushed motors over the brushless. Brushless is so finicky. Oh, it's nitro. Okay. <laughs> well, there is that. It's nitro, baby. Uh, sweet nitro. Okay, uh, come on. Still trying to put the parking brake on with the wrong button. Nope, that I ponied on up and didn't make it up the... There we go. Get those wheels up. Oh, that wasn't the way I wanted to go, but hey, if it works, it's working. Okay, we're doing it. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Pull that butt up. There you go. There you go. There you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there's some big brushless engines, I know. For airplanes, too. There's some, like, big can motors for... But they're brushless. Now, for airplanes, brushed brushless is good and brushed sucks. Okay, we're not going to be able to get up that. Frig's sake. Okay, let's see. We thought this was going to be an easy trip, but there's the car. Man, he is on a plateau of... We could get up to here fairly easily. We just had to back out and come around this way. But um, man, we might have to go... Yeah, that's how we have to go up and over. That looks like pretty tough to get up on that level that he's on. There's a rim around here. How do we get up there? That's rough. All right, let's go this way and see. This looked like it was going to go up, but it definitely doesn't. Um, does this? That's a big mess right there, but no, that doesn't really. I guess now it's too narrow. Wow, I really got myself into a pickle. I might just have to recover. Oh, that's right. You can make bridges. I forgot about that. But it doesn't. It has to be in specific spots. They don't just let you like randomly make a bridge. Oh, stop with the distance thing. I'm like barely. If we go up there, once again, that's an issue right there. <laughs> the R1R. I still think this is probably going to be our best attempt, so we're going to go to the left here. All right. It's been decided. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, there's a mod for make bridge anywhere. <laughs> That's pretty cool that they're already doing like all that kind of stuff. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, for no limit free cam. Oh, <gasps> all right. There we go. Very beautiful ascent or descent right there. Perfect. I aimed perfectly. Yeah, I. <laughs> There's no way you accidentally put it in. <laughs> yeah, those crawlers were not. The crawlers are best with brushed for sure. They are not. Brushless is too much power for a crawler. It's about control. <laughs> you said, okay, hi, young and naive. <laughs> G made makes some pretty good rock crawlers, actually. If you guys are interested in cheap, not super cheap, but fairly inexpensive rock crawlers, they they're uh, kind of newer, not newer. They've been around for two or three years. They they got some cool like Chevy Blazer, different Chevy Blazers. They've got like a police one, and there's like a pickup truck version, and like a suburban version. Like they just they really made some cool variations on the on the Chevy. There you go, Gates.
All right, now we're going to start heading up this way. Night's coming. Night closes in. We're going to have to fix the dawn up, too, after our little tumble. But this is the pace of the game, and I, this is what I like. It's not... There really is no rushing. You have to take your time, because it's... Otherwise, it's doom. I'm not going the right way, by the way. We need to go back this way. Oh, <laughs> I've done that before on the Traxxas. They didn't blow, though. Yeah, I've got a high KV motor and a little dirt buggy that I have, and I didn't realize how much KV it was, but I drove it on the pavement by mistake, and I bolted my tires in one run. I was like, Phew. Hey, what's up, Mr. Hammond? Are you leaving already? He came in, said hello, left. <laughs> hey, I gotta go. Hi. <laughs> but thank you for coming in to say hi anyway. It's good to see ya. Oh, yeah. Come on. Ugh. I want it to go to the left, and it keeps going to the right. Okay, there. I'm just trying to get the back around here. We'll work on getting up the hill in a sec, but... That should be enough to... Yeah, you gotta go by teeth and stuff. You can't just <laughs> pop a motor in. It has to... Same thing with brushless stuff and, and air airplanes. You have to, like, size the prop and everything for the for the engine that you're using. If you, if you under or over prop it, you can either damage the motor or the airplane. Or the prop. So this is the risk. Oh, you're at work. Okay. <laughs> we let's see. Okay. So are we up on the correct level? That's the question. So we're going to turn the motor off and I'm going to pop the drone up again and take a look. I think we need to go up another level, but we might be on the correct level. Mm. Oh yeah, there he is. So we're actually a little bit above, but that's okay. We're going to come on. I'm going to try to go along this ridge here and make it across that rock pile. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> Famous last words. What's up, Mr. Fizzy Banks? Mr. Fezziwig. Good to see you back, my friend. For a little late night streaming. Get over that. Okay, good. Oh, that's cool. Now it's all blue. Ah, everybody's snow running. <laughs> well, I will say one thing for Expeditions. It got lots of people back into playing SnowRunner again, so that's a good thing. SnowRunner such a great game. And no, 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 no. Gonna have to go down the hill. Oh, boy. That's not how we wanted to end up, but it was either that or end up on my side. Ah, uh, crud buckets. Okay. Well, I guess we're going down the hill. Okay, Mr. Truck, but I'm impressed that you didn't die. Now, we're, okay, so we're going to turn around and try to go up that and get on that side of it. <laughs> What's up, Red Alpha? What's up, Red Alpha? Do, 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 ouch. Come on, baby. <laughs> I mean, technically, SnowRunner kind of is a truck sim. All right. Oh, there's a tree there. I just saw that. Okay. Well, we're. Who cares then? We can just get up. We gotta rise up. Get excited. Get up. Oh, come on. Pull. Pull, you mangy beast. I think. Things are not looking good at the farm. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> nope. I'm going to find a winch. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, let's try. Can we? Can this reach? Oh, it can. Okay. Oh no! Urgh, I hate that. I press the button to winch and it shuts it off. Stupid game. All right, there we go. Pull. There we go. Nope, breaks off. I'm trying to get it to. We are really wedged in there. <laughs> it took us a little further, but then it unfortunately. Oh, oh yeah. Come on, get that wheel on there. We made it. See, I told you we could do it. <laughs> yeah, and that's rock crawling right there. Except for there's no winches in rock crawling, sadly. Bolt gun, what is that? Okay, there's our car. That's, that's what she said. <laughs> oh, Lord. 40K. What does 40K mean? I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. Is that a brand? Is that... What's a 40K? Sorry, I'm uninitiated. Oh, okay, okay. I never played Warhammer, so. So was the original game called Warhammer 40K, or was that a... Oh, shoot. <laughs> well, I got it there, and then I bashed it, and then I did this, and I smashed that, and I crushed this, and bonk. <laughs> Okay, now trucks nearby, trade. All right. Let's see. Spare parts can't be transferred. What? Let me figure out how to do this. Change truck. Okay. No. Stop. Oh, stop it. Oh, my God. I hate the controls. This is the one thing about this game. I freaking suck at the controls. Um, okay. Nope. Take this. Okay, look, I can add fuel. Okay. And then I think what we can do is we can press our right button. Nope. And then... Um, And then I can go here and fix this. And then I can trade. No, I didn't want to change truck. I want it to sit in this truck. I don't want to trade. Okay, and then I'm going to take the spare parts from this truck. Yep, and I can load them in my car. And then I can, nope, I don't want to change truck. <laughs> this is so much more complicated. Why did they do this? <sighs> Stupid. This is horrible. They need to... Mm. I mean, it's really bad. Okay. Nope. 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 This is so much more complicated than just fixing it. Like we used to do. You pull it up, say, fix the truck next to you, you're done. Now I got to do all this trading and moving and blah. I hate this stuff. No tractor trailers that I'm aware of. I don't believe so. So now we're ready to move on. We've got our car all fixed up and we, our creative route did not work out the way that we thought it would. We're gonna make our tires a little bit more puffy. So we're back underway. The Don's a little bit smushed up, but that's okay with the act on save the day. So Now, I wonder how much, like, like for me, like, how much metal detecting do we actually have to do in this game to be successful? You're like, is there stuff hidden here? This is where we came up. There's the tree that we used. Uh, I should probably actually throw a winch under that.
this did not work out. Um, maybe come on. Okay. 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 All right. Come on. Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah. So, yes, they are all just straight trucks. Pull. Oh, my wheels are really wedged in there. Oh, no, I'm supposed to be in reverse. What are you doing? Oh, my God. Well, no. Oh, dang it. I keep bashing the engine. This thing's a, a hair fragile. All right, we're going to just go down this way. This makes more sense. <laughs> One of the cool things about this version is the ability to... Oh, we're out of winch. Sort of work your way down mountains using winches. Oh, God. That really whipped my engine into the ground. All right, slow it down a little bit there, buddy. And we're going to work our way around the corner. So we have to get up on top of that plateau. Which we shall. So see, there is adventure to be had. Even on maps that you've already beaten, there's lots of things still to do, sort of. Oh, gosh. Okay, no. I thought there was a swamp down there, but it's not. It's just more ground. Looks like we need to go to the right. Who needs the Noel pin anyway? I just saw that. <laughs> You're right. So you got Warhammer, Fighting Orcs and such. 40k was in the far future. Okay. Ooh, look what they did here. Ooh, look what you made me do. Um, I hate that song, by the way. Yeah, go fast. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> uh, the Great Don. I don't know. Maybe pretty good. Bog trucks have big wheels, but they have to be softened. All right, 1600 bucks just for that. That's not a whole lot of money, but that's enough for one jack stand. Now, if I had my metal detector here, I'd detect. All right, so let's go back down. I'm going to continue on up over that ridge because I want to see what's on the other side of this. Yeah, we should probably do a bino scan. You're right. Use the Minox. Use the Minox. Try to make it back in two wheel drive. <laughs> it's kind of dis it's a little depressing how far we've come. We've only gone like 168 feet <laughs> or meters, maybe. Must be 168 meters, so like 300 feet. <laughs> It took all that, all this time. Territory reconnaissance, okay. That's it. All right, so let's go ahead and get out here. Let's go on up over the ridge. This thing is kind of like a, like a really buff Volkswagen Rabbit. I like that. The Rabbit was a cool car. I've got a witch. A witch? Mm, come on, go. Or over the hole. There we go. Okay. Uh, the Indicar view is hopeless. Okay. I love the view, but it doesn't really help much. In most of these situations, it's kind of difficult to see where you're going because you're on all these rock edges. I don't know how guys do it rock crawling in real life. That is a tough thing to not be able to see where you are. You have to go real slow. And they do hang their heads out. They have people you know, guiding them and stuff, but we 
Why would someone steal one? <laughs> I don't know. I know. That's why I don't understand why they didn't do that. Because they had the opportunity and they, for some reason, didn't. But whatever. Full steam ahead. Not really, no. You can customize the keyboard controls, but not the controller controls. You discovered a new climb. I did, this is really not the way that I wanted to go. Uh, I wanted to go to the left. <laughs> the car just kept pulling to the right, so hey. This is an easy climb. Come on, you little moose. You can do this. Full send, yeah. That's about as full send as it gets. Come on. That was tires half inflated. Ooh, some pretty little trees up here. Happy little bushes. I think we're on the edge of the map here. I don't see anything worth recovering up here. <laughs> That's right, 100 horsepower, four-cylinder diesel. Yep, nothing. Let's do a quick scan with the device. The binoc device. <laughs> the binoculars. Nothing but rocks and dirt. Okay, well, we'll keep moving. There is no that point. The main point is there. No, there's a lot of missions that you run fizzy banks and then you have an exploration mode where you can find money. Uh, there are drops hidden around the map that have like dinosaur bones in them that are worth money. Pretty good money. Actually, if you take a big truck, you can load it up and make some money. But I'm just more I wanted to kind of do a little bit of exploration, too. So we're, we're kind of exploring the map out and seeing if we can find anything interesting. So far, nothing's back here, but. <laughs> oh, Gator, here we go with the trucks again. <laughs> I'm going to have to get a pickup truck pretty soon here. Oh, yes, I swore I never would, but here we are. Yes, you do have to find upgrades. Yep. It's not, you have to find other vehicles, too. Oh, lordy. Yeah. When you say mid set, well, I'm not buying something new. I'll be getting, I'm, I'm looking at buying for, uh, 44's uh, Sierra 1500. He's got a GMC. With a crew cab. <laughs> Yeah, those are too small. I won't be able to tow horse trailers with those, but they're cool. And they're also a lot newer, so they'll be expensive. My car loan days are pretty much over. I won't say why, but let's just say I don't think there's a bank on earth that would give me a loan at this point. <laughs> going forward, my life is going to be all cash. So hopefully I need to start making some. Oh, Lord. Let's uh, see here. I'll just repair this up just because, and I'm going to... Oh, the gas. we got plenty of gas. They're still too small. Thank you, Fizzy Banks. They're still too small for me, but they're nice. That you, that You're right. Hey, you need a couch? I got a pickup truck for you. Yeah, true, true that. I know. I've always bought used cars. I mean, not always. I, I, I kind of go back and forth. Sometimes I buy new. Sometimes I buy used. But 
I've had several used cars. We honestly, rust is not a huge problem here anymore. I don't know if they've changed up the chemicals that they use for the roads or just because I do a better job keeping the cars clean. But even at 10 years old, you don't see a lot of rust. Um, more like 15, 20 years. Kind of funny. I see a lot I, on southern vehicles. I see it more. And I think it's because they, you know, they buy the salt water. So, yeah, I don't think they use salt as much. It's not like it used to be, man, where like your eight year old car had rust holes all over it. It does happen. I see it. on Honestly, I see it on pickup trucks more because pickup trucks get, you know, bopped and then the paint comes off and then they get salt on that and then it rusts. So ground beats. Interesting. Here, I think they use, um, they still use, like, it's like a saline mix, but it's not, it's a chemical mix. It's not, it's just salt. And honestly, we don't have that many heavy snows anymore. So it's only once or twice a year that you get exposed to that. And you just, I run it through the car wash after I have, like, after a week after the snow melts, I take it through the car wash to get all that stuff off. So Some places use cinders, um, though we haven't, uh, not around here. Um, oh, this is cool. We'll go up that side and let's take a look at the map here and see what we've uncovered. Look at all this stuff. Okay. See, now I missed something. Ancient remains. Let's go ahead and. So what? How do we just go right past that? I don't. Well, let's, while we're here, let's find these ancient remains. Nope. Head to the, nope. Ancient remains is what I want. Because we're like right there. Oh, sort of. How do we, oh, we'll finish that and then we'll call this an episode here once I find this. All right, baby. Let's get up there. We've bonked the car. Oh, you stupid tree. <laughs> Dang it. It could be help. Tree could be helpful, but it's a little bit of a hindrance right now. They all have rusted out in the same spot. Where's that? Yeah, he's got some rust on the hood, I think. And he said also on the roof on the one I'm looking at. No, it doesn't bother me. I'll sand it off and paint, repaint it. fizzy banks that's interesting i don't think so but I, I haven't done tennessee so i don't know maybe to do the maybe you have to do the race together or something i, I don't know look see we were right here we drove right past it boy was that stupid Stage complete. Find the ancient remains. Oh, there's more. Oh. Well, that was kind of the way we were headed anyway, so now we're going to turn around and go back and head that direction. Let's, let's see. Okay. Poor little car. It's all mangled. <laughs> oh wait a new map came out for snow runner or just because you hadn't played it for a long time i was gonna say i don't i didn't hear anything about a new map Oh, interesting. That sucks. Oh, because you needed an update. Okay. All right. So th that looks like it's on the other side of that cliff.
Got some high speed off road and mudding going on here. I think if we go up the other side and then around that tree to the back, I'm pretty sure we want to go. I'm not sure if I want to go right or left. I have to look at the map and we get, oof, this is deep desert mud. All right, let's see um, the map. If we go to the right, actually, either way, it looks like it goes. To me, the right probably is the drier route, which will go a little faster. So we'll go up and over. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I can't stay up late that late. I, I went to bed last night, I think, gosh, like 1231. Anything good in there? Doesn't look like it. Well, I will say it's pretty here. But you can see there's definitely no... No, um... Nothing up here. There we go. This section's pretty non-climber. So we can run the tires at full pressure. Protect them from themselves. Oh, there's the second trail that we have to follow. So we, we're almost there. Let's see where this takes us now. Wow, that's, look at that school. I like that rock sticking up over there. Oh, boy. I had a cactus on my hood. Now it's, it came out my tailpipe. <laughs> that seems like it would be uncomfortable. <laughs> it's empty here. Keep looking. Okay, so we're going to have to go on the map. Let's take a look. To the right. What is this? A climb? Climb, yep. Yeah. I hate the way that they stay question marks. Yep, we just finished Alaska. Man, was it nice. I liked the Alaska map. It was pretty cool. Yeah, not too difficult. There's a lot. Once you fix the bridges, there's lots of usable roads in Alaska. That's funny, Gator. Come on, push. Log hog. Yeah, the chain tires definitely help. All right, you got our, our tires in rock crawler mode now. I'm trying to see. Yeah, that would definitely not be the way. Dang. Donk. <laughs> I've really donked the crap out of this truck. Oh, up and over. <laughs> I mean, you can do it that way. You could definitely skip making the bridges and just use the, the cuts around them, but you get money for doing the bridges. So, but do you see what I'm saying about fuel mileage? Like this car goes a long, long way on the little tanks. <laughs> on a single, like on a single tank, we haven't. I don't think we've even touched our fuel reserves yet. So it's, the Don is nice for exploring. The only problem is it's small. 
hopefully we'll get i think the rock crawler suspension will help it and then we'll get big wheels for it and it'll be really good have a good night gator thanks for being here buddy oh we finished it oh look we found a dinosaur looks to be a stegosaurus right is that right what's the tris triceratops triceratops you get $2,400. Thank you. Look at that. That's cool. So we found a dino. Can we turn this interface off? Nope. It still doesn't turn off. Okay. I don't know why I said Stegosaurus. Ladies and gentlemen watching on YouTube, hopefully you enjoyed this video. We're going to call it an episode there at about an hour. And uh, we will definitely be continuing the series as we finish off this map and then move into the other two maps that we got. By the time we get done, it'll probably be like two warm wraps have already come out or four more or six more. Have a good night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help. And we will see you next time. Bye.